Hi, and welcome to Tara's Trinkets and Treasures. Guess what? I got another jewelry jar from the Salvation Army, and it was half off day. So it was $20, and I got it for $10. So let's get started with the unveiling of the jewelry. And of course, I didn't bring scissors to get this off, but we should be able to peel it off here. And... You know, there wasn't too much exciting stuff about this jewelry jar, but it was the only one they had. And half off, I don't mind paying $10 for. So it will be uh, exciting if we do find something great, but you never know. So, and I was feeling kind of Christmassy, wintery, so I'm using my nice comfy sweater as a background. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so first off, we have a tangled mess. <laughs> okay. Let's see if I can get through that. There we go. Vintage watch. Pretty beat up there. What does that say? Mm, Timex. That's an old one. Okay. Let's see another watch here. Dandy. It's pretty beat up. The covering over that is peeling off. Bracelet here. Silver tone, stretch, different colored crystals in it. The crystals are very pretty. Kind of got an aurora borealis reflective shine to them. And we've got a pair of earrings, little dangles, pierced, missing the backings, probably from the 80s. And what do we have here? We have a star, crystal, pendant, necklace, I guess. Oh my gosh, I'm already dirty from the jewelry. <laughs> what else? Let's see. <clears throat> Green, beaded, necklace. Lori something. Okay. Tangled. Looks like double strand. Faux pearl, orange beaded, gold tone chain necklace. No name. We'll save that earring for later. Looks pretty. <clears throat> okay. Have a necklace here. LC. Is that Liz Claiborne? It's kind of a champagne colored plastic beading. Long necklace there. Very nice. Okay. What is this? This is interesting. This has got to be from the 80s. Plastic. Kind of a black. Kind of an off-white color. Oh, there's actually a name here. Oh, that's J. Crew. This must be really vintage J. Crew, or if they're trying to be vintage. Interesting. That might be worth some money there. <clears throat> And here is the glass pendant. Wow, price tagged at $39. J. Jill. Okay. Interesting. I'll have to look that one up. I have heard of the designer, though. 
Oh, look it. We have a rosary. Silver tone. I wonder if that could be silver. There's the cross there. Do I have my magnet? Let's see. Okay. So I hope you guys had a nice Thanksgiving and now we're on to Christmas. So I am gonna be a little bit busier trying to get my jewelry up and listed on eBay, but it'll happen. Wow, so it's not sticking. I will have to check that to see if it is silver. How amazing would that be if it is silver? Those are hard to find rosaries and all silver. Here's a pretty pair of pierced earrings. Nice colors there. Okay, we have an interesting palm tree that hangs over something. Okay. And it is labeled here. And I have it upside down. Okay. Alexi ink. I'll have to look up what that is. Not sure. Here is a vintage plastic black and red chunky beaded necklace that is pretty interesting actually this stuff does sell on ebay surprisingly because maybe you have like a 80s party dress up people do like that kind of stuff whoa this is moving around in there okay the back's missing Kendall, i don't know something james but hopefully the back is in the uh, little jar here. Okay, here's a pretty beaded seed bead. Red multi-strand necklace with a glass millefiori, maybe. That's nice. Here's a bangle bracelet, burgundy. I don't see a maker. Nice fall colors. This is actually pretty nice. It is a simple gold link necklace, gold tone, of course. Monet, the quality of Monet actually holds up really well. I am surprised. So anytime I find Monet, it looks brand new. So that is nice. Another 80s necklace here. Plastic beads, aqua blue, and green. This one's really fun. It's a nice condition. Some big bracelets here. This still has some kind of tag on it, but it was cut off, so we're not sure where it's from. Eh, there's some little crystals glued on. Definitely not silver, but still fun. Okay, what is this? Future and a hope. This is a Bible verse bracelet. Okay. Another bracelet. It's got some tape. That one's nice. That's got some uh, silver tone vines on it. Kind of matches this one here. Same gold color on the inside. There's a funky 
necklace. Kind of goth. This is plastic. Little black plastic spikes with some silver beads on a rope necklace. And a long purple beaded, maybe glass beaded necklace here. How funny, all the colors in this jar are similar to the colors in my sweater. <laughs> so the red and the purple and the green. And this green is similar to that. This looks like Leah Sophia. Let's see if I'm right. Of course, it's all tangled up. Oh, no name, I'm surprised. Okay. Nice colors there for fall. That would look really nice with a dress. I love that. And more bracelets. Same kind of gold color on the inside. These ones look like they're painted. Might just sell all those together. Yeah, that'd be fun. And okay. They were selling this one for $9.50. I like this. This is like a chunky necklace with giant blue cubes on a memory wire necklace. Choker, very fun. We are almost done with the jar. Oh my goodness, how am I going to get this one out of there? Oh, there we go. Okay, I have never seen a bracelet like that. Let's see if I can get it on. Oh my goodness. All right, that's kind of fun. Doesn't bend very well, so you really have to oh, squeeze your hand in there. And I don't think I have very big hands, so it's gonna have to be fitted for a small person. And this is missing there. Okay. And here is a fun bracelet. Whoa, what is that? Oh, the tie or something from the 80s stretch plastic beads and lastly a fossil watch that's nice okay kind of a beat up leather looking strap okay and water resistant authentic fossil Wow, they had this priced at $34.50. So I got the whole jar for $10. And I think it was pretty good. Got all these fun 80s jewelry. Maybe a silver. Necklace here. So I decided to grab my silver testing solution to check this rosary to see if it is silver. So let's go ahead and try it. So those are the beads. And that's the cross. Okay. So when you do use this solution, you're supposed to wear gloves. Okay, so, so far, it's not turning red, or well, maybe a little bit, but I'm gonna use this white sock and I'm gonna go ahead and wipe. And if it comes up red, then it is, and it is not silver. That's a bummer. It would have been kind of cool if it was, but it's still pretty, so we'll keep it. Um, I am gonna sell these items on eBay, at my eBay store, Tara's Trinkets and Treasures. So 
go ahead and look for these and uh, there are Christmas specials going on. So thank you for joining me and have a great day. Bye-bye.